Centuries ago, soldiers tested their cavalry skills astride the rim of a large horizontal wheel. Eventually, Europe's wealthy elite saw this as entertainment and turned the practice into a fabulous pageant. Nowadays, you can ride a whole menagerie of animals, but the star of the carousel is still the horse. Their life revolves around a fairground, but they're born here, on paper. A craftsman draws a pattern of the horse's silhouette, then fills it in with a saddle, straps, and a harness. Some models may include a shield, a coat of arms, or even flowers. Another craftsman then glues together blocks of linden, wood that's lightweight and easy to carve. He stacks four of them to create what's called an end block. It'll form part of the horse's body, what's known as the core. He clamps the blocks together to compress them, and he lets the glue set for 45 minutes. The finished core includes two end blocks sandwiched by top, bottom, and side panels, plus one wooden piece they'll carve into a saddle. The middle of the core is hollow. On a carousel with 50 horses, this trims the overall weight by up to three tons. After covering the core with carbon paper, the craftsman lays the pattern on top. He traces the pattern with a leadless pencil called a stylus. The carbon paper underneath transfers the drawing onto the wood. He'll follow these lines to cut out the basic shape of the horse. Later, they'll carve most of the finer details by hand. Using a bandsaw, he slices the core carefully along the lines. Next, he drills a hole for the pole that attaches the horse to the carousel. Here, a craftsman uses what's called a carving duplicator to create the head. Following a template, the machine sculpts a block of wood into the horse's head, a painstaking process that takes 90 minutes. The duplicator can carve up to four heads at once. It also adjusts to carve some finer details into the larger pieces, such as the core. They use something called a parting tool to shape the decorative tassels on the bridle. This one has a fanciful design, what an Arabian horse would typically wear. The craftsman has a huge arsenal of tools at his disposal to create all kinds of special features, such as a flowing, wind-blown mane. The tools are sharp, and they're precise enough to sculpt even tiny, intricate parts such as eye sockets, nostrils, and teeth. After applying polyester adhesive putty in the eye sockets, he adds two glass eyes. Unlike real horses' pupils, which are oval in shape, these have round pupils for a friendlier look. A carousel horse is roughly half the height of a real horse, but the size of its feet is true to life. So workers nail on authentic iron horseshoes. These prevent the wood from chipping under the feet of riders who get rowdy in the saddle. Wooden pegs temporarily connect the head and tail to the body. Once workers verify the alignment, they'll glue the sections together. After sanding down the entire surface, the paint job begins. First, three coats of white primer. This highlights any imperfections the sanding missed. Once that's done, the artwork begins. This horse will wear a bright, multicolored harness. Its coat will be in different shades of the same color for a realistic look. It takes up to five coats of paint to get it just right. Up to seven coats of varnish will keep the horse looking beautiful for decades. After two months of work, assuming there was no horsing around, these striking creatures are ready to make their rounds.